Okay, let's play some chess. Uh, let's see what happens. Been on a bit of a slide. You can see I'm 1488. I lost like 150 points in the past like three days, but we'll see what I can do. I'm against a, a peak defense, Pyrk. And I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna actually try to play this F4 move. I don't do it that often. Uh, I'm expecting a move like that. Let's see, let's see what happens. And then eventually I can maybe like push this pawn up. Uh, I'm not really sure. But I'm underdeveloped. I can't really ask for a fight just yet. And I think a move like this is very dangerous. Okay. Um, takes. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to play this like rainbow mode. And I feel like you have to take. Uh, this is non-negotiable. You have to take. <laughs> uh, my opponent wants a queen trade here, but you know, whatever. I'll I'll play this end game, and I'll be very slightly better. But you know, still gotta win it. I have some weaknesses in my position, but without queens, this open king doesn't really matter that much. Uh, so yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens. Uh, you gotta move the king. And then I think I'm going to win this pawn. I could have just sat there, but it's whatever. It's whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I, it's going to be very hard in the future to protect this. For example, if the knight moves back. Uh, I can't really defend it. And even if I try to stack defenders. Uh, hold on. There's this move attacking that. So uh, that's actually pretty decent for my opponent. Uh, I'm trying to see if my opponent has some weird moves. Uh, I don't really see it. So I'm just going to play a normal developing move. Uh, you're going to need one extra turn to like attack this pawn. And I feel like going backwards is a little bit better. Okay, that's decent. Okay, I see, I see. Um, check. Okay, uh, I have an idea. Check. Maybe I can like sack my bishop and put my pawn over here. That could be an okay play. Check. Check here, here, and we'll, we'll kind of see. If you move here, I can just... No, I don't think that's... Maybe it's okay, maybe it's okay. Um, check over here. I think this move was not as bad as I initially thought. But, you know, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, and then if you block with the pawn, I think I'm going to take with a pawn, actually. Because it kind of restricts this guy a little bit. I know there's like moves like that, but whatever. Um, okay, uh, I think I'm just gonna take that. I think I'm just gonna take that. Let, let's see where you take with. Probably the king. Um, if you don't take with the king, you know what? No, that, that develops a bishop, so I don't really want that just yet. Um, takes, takes. It's a bit of a lame game, but it's kind of not that bad for me. I'm gonna take the open file. And uh, there's no... Oh, I just blundered. Uh, I blundered uh, the thing, but it's okay. It's only an exchange. Um, check. I kind of wonder if there's some weird-ass check that I can perform. Um, what's the response to this? And then this knight can eventually jump here. So I, I, I blunder the exchange. Okay, uh, I think I can maybe target something. Um, wait a minute, hold on. Okay, uh, it, it's not the worst thing in the world, if I'm being honest. Uh, the thing is that if I take this pawn, the rook moves where it wants to move. But I don't think that's really all that bad. Uh, alternatively, I could hook this guy here. Uh, it's actually a pretty decent move. Takes, takes, takes. 
takes 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 uh if the rook moves i just take the bishop and i can win this pawn uh so it's not the worst thing in the world it's not the worst thing in the world uh yeah uh this is probably a losing position but i think it's i think it's fine ish <laughs> i think it's fine ish <laughs> Take, take, king moves, I go back here, and then I can jump here. So I think I'm okay. Um, and then if you save the exchange, you move this knight anywhere. I'm just going to take this bishop, probably with a knight, and then plant my bishop here. Uh, and then I, these two pawns are a little bit weird, but it's also not the easiest thing to get to. For example, after... Take, 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 and then here, here, it's not, okay, I see, I see. Um, okay, th this is a little bit of a weird move because it allows that. So I'm going to allow the capture. And the king is... Hmm. Takes... Because I have this capture afterwards... So I'm actually in a decent shape. I won enough pawns that I think I have compensation. Because after I take take I got this move and it's not the easiest thing in the world to move so I'm down in exchange but this pawn is forever locked here okay I see um okay hold on a minute here hold on a minute here I, I do have a winning play uh because this is untouchable. This is untouchable. Uh, and then I can move my king up. Uh, I'm not sure I want to move this rook just yet. Because there's ways to just like force stuff to happen. Oh, maybe I have to do something. Uh, I can move here. Okay, hold on. Hold on a minute. I think I can protect everything. I think I can protect everything. Um, I think I can protect everything. Because I'm going to scuttle my king this way. Play this move. Uh, this is a very ugly rook. Uh, this is actually very manageable. I think I'm winning. Like Despite my blunder at the beginning, I'm actually winning this. I think. I think. Uh, there is some play. Uh, I think if you go that way. But I can block. That's the thing. So I'll, I'll go this way. Uh, and I can actually block with the thing. I can block. And I think maybe I can move up. I don't want to move this pawn because then there's this move which guarantees some bad stuff to happen. Okay, so I think maybe I can... Because if I move my king uh, this way, it blunders this pawn. And I don't want to blunder it just yet. I think maybe I just move here. Hmm. It's actually not easy to hold on to that pawn. Uh, hold on a minute here. Um... I think there's a way to hold on to everything. If I move bishop here, you have to give back the exchange. 
If you give back the exchange, I just auto win because I've got too many advantages. And if you push for it, I think you just I think I just move the king. Uh, let me think about this. If I move the king and then you move the rook over, um, over here, let's say. Takes takes. Yeah. So this is what I wanted to begin with. Um, this could be okay. This could be okay. Uh, I'm basically forcing my opponent to give back the exchange, and I'm just doing nothing with with these guys, these three guys. Uh, I'm winning by a little bit, but it's not easy to actually win. Win. Um, so the key is to never allow entry for this guy. Uh, so if you move here, okay, that's not going to be an easy task. I, I don't think that's the right direction. I don't think that's the right direction. Um, let's see, this is here. No. Um, let me think about this. Here. Okay, I, I'm a little bit frozen, but, 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 but. I've got some weird things I can do. I've got some weird things I can do. I could push this pawn and then <laughs> move the rook this way. I, I can't lose this pawn. I have to hold on to it. Uh, can I give this pawn up? I'm gonna give this pawn up because strangely enough, this is very kind of a strange position. Uh, and the reason it's strange is because both of these attacks are cut off by the bishop. And then if you chase horizontally, okay, uh, I, I think that's okay. So the point of this move, what's the point of this move? The point of this move Ooh, hold on a second here. I think I think I have a way to win. I, I gave up this pawn for no reason, but I think this is a way to win. I think this is a way to win. I'm gonna purposefully play down in exchange. Purposefully. Uh, so the idea here is that hold on, hold on, hold on a second here. Um The idea here is I can block, I think. Check. Check. Ooh, hold on a second here. Check. Take here. Here, here, here. No, that doesn't work. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm... Go for a race. Go for a race. Um, so this is my idea. I'm going to go for the race. Uh, the problem is I think my opponent has more sacking power than I do, but I have more pawn power. <laughs> so here, yeah, uh, here guarantees this pawn, but I think I move here and I just start marching. Because if you take this pawn, you're kind of like blocking yourself. Okay, I think I can move here to block the king. The king can go here, but I don't freaking care. Um, this could be okay. Because um, I think my opponent has to expend too many rook moves to get the check on my king. Oh, hold on a second here. No, if the king chases this pawn, I, I can promote pretty easily. Uh, so I think my bishop can be on sack duty. Okay. If, if you really want to sack for... Yeah, I can do this. See the move. 
from my opponent. So check here. Okay. okay this is a little bit nerve wracking. Um, thing is. Here, check. Okay, maybe I go here first. Um, check, no, I can't do, hold on. You got this check. Okay. Uh, uh, another thing I can play for is that my opponent has 130 and I have three minutes. <laughs> but I don't think that's going to come into play here because this is a low units kind of end game there aren't really that many pieces left so we'll we'll, we'll see we'll see uh, i think my opponent's trying to like trap my king somehow uh so hold on, let me think about this maybe i can go this way and see what you want to do uh you're welcome to repeat hold on a second here but if you repeat here no if i go here oh you don't have that move uh so i think the idea here is that if you go here i'll go here and then i'll try to promote and then i'll tr might not even be that winning so if i go here so the thing is uh this looks scary but there's no sensible check because here i'll go here and then we'll see what happens We'll see what happens with this time advantage. So I'm going to promote. OK, that is interesting. Um, I think maybe I can just march and see what happens. Because this pawn's untouchable. And then I'm going to sack if I need to. So I do have somewhat of an idea here. Um, so my idea is to just block. Uh, I think my promotion's faster. Because here, here, you're, you're walking into my check, aren't you? Oh, you're, you want this move. Yeah, so my idea here, if you march, I'm going to block. And then you're going to take two turns. To get to my bishop and i'm gonna queen first and i can pick up the pawn uh, so that's my idea here and you can't march you can't march you can't march i've blocked you off yeah okay that was a crazy end game um i blundered in the beginning but i actually got a good position and i almost blundered my good position but i think uh simplifying down to bishop versus rook was somehow okay so let's just kind of review it um very interesting end game so let, let, let's see let's see what happened here so um, yeah so i uh this move got my opponent in trouble but yeah uh oh okay i, I don't really i'm not really feeling this move to be honest uh, i'm not really sure but the way I played it was okay. Um, I kind of wonder if maybe I had a move like this, but I don't think so. I think that just loses a pawn. Um, okay, that would have been interesting. I think castle 2 would have been interesting. Uh, but this is very interesting. Uh, so keeping the king in the middle is actually good, but it's a little bit scary to do here because the king doesn't have many squares because this is kind of cut off. Uh, but... Um, this is better because I blundered this move uh, earlier on. And then I think here... All right. Um, I kind of wonder if taking is good. Um, or if even something like this could be okay. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't really know, actually. Is that a good move? Going back to the... Oh, I see, I see. Uh, so the idea is to lure this guy out. 
this way instead of this way. Uh, so had you, yeah, to lure the bishop out this way and then defend the pawn this way so that the bishop does not have this square. And this bishop is very restricted. Uh, okay, so that's a very interesting play here. So, so the way I did this bad, and then I castled. Yeah, that, that was bad. I think this would have been better because it kept an eye on this square. Uh, but yeah, let's see this blunder. Check. So I think this was the beginning of the end for my opponent. Yeah. Um, so takes, you're giving back the exchange. And then the only way I see to attack this bishop is to move the king somehow. Uh, I think this would probably be the best move, for example. Attacking me, and I, I have a way to get out. Uh, if you try to further attack me, um, move like this, I can get out. And this is horrible. Like, if you take and then I hit the knight, that, that's terrible. So, yeah. And actually, I was calculating this move, but it was really... Um, this here. The reason I didn't really like it, I guess it was okay. I, I was going to say, if the knight takes, there's no recapture, but then I can just capture. So, I, I guess it's fine, but... Uh, So if I did this here, here, oh no, here, and then what's the best move? Is it going to be my bishop move? Yeah, it kind of transposes into the same thing, so I don't think it really matters that much. So the way I, my move order was pretty decent, yeah, and from here, I won two pawns, which makes up for the rook. Or I think that I went three pawns. I think I went three pawns, or, or something like that. See, I was, I was kind of thinking of this too. Uh, but I think at any rate... Right, this is good because it threatens... So if knight takes... I'm actually not sure which capture is better. I think this is probably better. And the reason why the rook is better on f3 than it was on each one is because I have this entire thing to like I can access everywhere on the board at once and I at this point I kind of after capture 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 I figured that this is actually winnable uh, like my pieces are kind of bad yeah the computer thinks I have a slight advantage and I felt this too like I felt like it was really hard for me to actually win but it was kind of a decent position just because I had this three on one and this pawn, which I guess I blundered it, but at the same time I lured the king to kind of like trade. And I, I kind of wonder if the rook trade was advisable. Um, so the reason why I played this move over here is because I figured if it's on the light square, it could be protected. Uh, but I think the computer's logic is good because you saw my opponent played like a move like this for example and this allows my king this the b3 square so i think this move is very instructive i think it was a big mistake for me to play b3 because later on you saw that my opponent really restricted me yeah you see the ai is just like yeah play b4 like i know you just played b3 play b4 so that was a pretty instructive yeah i, I really like this move defending this so that if you tar if you do target this pawn ever, uh, you have to sack back the exchange. So if it, if I get the exchange back, and I have all this advantage, uh, it's like unwinnable. Uh, so what was I afraid of? I was afraid of some sort of check, but this check doesn't do anything. Uh, I could even like move up, and like slide this way. So I should not have been afraid to move this way. Uh, I think my eyes just got glued to this pawn, and I wanted to attack e5, so... That's kind of what I was thinking. Uh, I was thinking of this move for a while, um, but I didn't think it did anything. Because uh, what I was thinking is that it's on the light square, so my bishop can eventually defend it. But there's no way for my bishop to actually defend it, unless I like hook around this way. Which actually is an okay defense. So, okay, so the computer did like this move, 
a uh, computer like Checkmore. Um, so wherever the king moved, uh, I'm actually not quite seeing the idea, because I, I thought this pawn would be supported by the bishop. But then, if my bishop is here supporting this pawn, it's no longer supporting this pawn. So I'm not really sure what the, what the idea is. And the uh, computer did like the, the rook tree for me. Uh, and this is very drawable. Uh, yeah, I, I allowed this capture to happen because it allowed my king passageway here. And the only thing I was really scared of, okay, um, AI is just like, yeah, this pawn doesn't matter. And you saw this pawn, does, it mattered a little bit because the king couldn't capture it in the end game. Here, and computer thinks I'm like way winning now. Uh, I felt like I was winning, but not like way winning. So here I figured I, I won the race. And yeah, I think my promotion was not very accurate. The way I did this was not accurate. Yeah, so this is great. Um, I really like what I did here. Uh, so what I saw is that when the kings are opposed to each other, you always need to be careful of back rank checkmates. You know, rook here, here. But I figured it wasn't really possible because a rook can't get here right now. The rook doesn't have access to this square either. Uh, these squares are blocked and then the rook can't go here because the bishop takes. So that leaves something like this, which leaves promotion. And then you saw the sequence here. What was the sequence? I don't even remember. Oh yeah, the sequence here was bring the bishop here and then promote. Uh, so very interesting. Uh, computer wants, let's say like the king moves. King has no good moves actually. Backwards doesn't do anything because I check you again. So you have a move like this or something. I don't know, man. And this is actually very good because I can support this pawn with this pawn. And then this, uh, and I win the race. <laughs> like, like at these pawns. So end game mistakes that are, um, because if I saw this move, I would have played it. Because uh, even in this position, I was unsure. I was up a full bishop. I was unsure about this position. Uh, but I figured I won the race, and I really love what I did here. Right, so I didn't push here, because king can go here, here. Oh, I, I still win the race. I, di I didn't see that. <laughs> I didn't see that I still won the race, but yeah. Um, so I really like this idea. So now the pawns are all frozen, uh, and you can't really do anything, because here, if you push, I just take and I'm covering this square. And then if you don't push... I promote. So the end game, um, it's hard to really trace where my opponent's mistake was. Uh, the computer says like certain things, but you also have to factor in that we're both 1500s. We don't play perfect <laughs> king upon end games. Uh, so if you factor that in, I'm not really sure where the exact mistake is. Uh, computer saying draw here, but I'm actually not seeing it. I don't see why this is a draw. Uh, I, I think I'm winning by a little bit, but computer finds a way to hold. So, uh, really interesting endgame. Hope you guys enjoyed.